Hello and welcome back everyone to Abs Talks and welcome back to episode 3 of the Spicy Noodle Challenge. On today's episode, I've got UFC bantamweight and ex-Cage Warriors bantamweight champion Nathaniel Wood on the show with me today. How you doing today, mate? I'm good, thank you, mate. Um, not looking forward to these spicy noodles, but let's give it a go. So uh, before, uh, I'm sure you'll find very quickly that they do pick up the heat a little bit as soon as you start eating them. But before I get into the questions, I'll ask you some like quick fire questions while we're eating them. But I am aware that recently you've just had like a hand injury, right? So yes, yes how did that? How did that? How did that come about? And was there like a fight that maybe you had in plan and then you had to like drop out? What exactly happened? So it was in the the last fight, Casey Kenny. I uh, you know busted it basically um you know I've torn the ligaments and pushed the tendon slightly off the bone on my little knuckle um so yeah mate it was starting to heal up you know I went back to training and was just doing light stuff and then it was just one of those things that I kept catching it until you know eventually it flared up again had to go back to the hospital and you know they just said look you haven't rested it long enough and you know they were sort of talking about operating and that sort of thing but yeah, we've kind of gone with the, the decision of we're just going to leave it alone and, you know, really make sure that I don't put any impact on that knuckle at all. And, you know, fingers crossed it it uh, heals up ASAP because I want to get back in there, you know. So at the moment, there's not really a time scale on when you think it's going to get better, right? No. So the doctor said that he wants eight to 12 weeks of no impact. Um, I always think that whatever the doctors say, half, you know, because... A lot of doctors, you know, they do give you a lot of rest sometimes and already, you know, it's feeling so much better than it was a week ago. So, you know, fingers crossed I heal, I heal like Wolverine normally. So, you know, I reckon that, um, you know, hopefully six weeks or so I'll be back to normal training and, you know, hopefully getting ready for a fight. Yeah, I've seen you in the gym anyway. You're still training like your leg kicks and all of that. So you're just avoiding yeah. the hands for now, yeah? Yeah, that's right, the thing. Cool. If, I don't do, if I don't do something, you know, I'm just going to be sitting around bored, twiddling my thumbs. So... Yeah. <laughs> so before we get straight into these uh, noodles, I just want to very quickly go through the rules. Um, so basically, you just eat the noodles as quickly as you can. Um, you can't have any water, milk or anything with them while you're eating them. After you finish the noodles, you've got to wait three minutes. And then after the three minutes are up, you can have your milk, water, whatever you want. But if you're absolutely dying, then of course, don't feel like I'm stopping you from having the. Uh, I'll just, any I'll just go off here for a minute. I'll just go off here and then just <laughs> sip a little drink. Sip a little drink. Yeah, yeah. Um, I tell right. you what, mate. Oh. Bear with me then, because I'm gonna get a knife. Because my my noodles have gone a little bit uh, stale. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, you can do it. You can do, you can do it, man. Mine. All right, cool. Right. So, so before we st and there's no time know. limit on how quick you eat the noodles, right? Nah, no time limit. It's up to you. Um, but I'll ask you some quick, some quick fire questions while you're eating them as well, just to make it, just yeah. to make it a little bit fun. So if we, yeah. if we go now, yeah, ready? Ready when you are. Let's go. I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's go. <clears throat> I'm quite hungry as well, so you know, I'm thinking that it might be quite tasty. What do you think? Do you like him? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate. Come on, mate. You can, they're you can actually do it. quite can do tasty, it. even though they're quite hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just thinking maybe just swallow them. Just swallow and don't let it yeah. just hang on the roof. <laughs> maybe. Do you mind do you mind just moving the camera just a little bit to that way? Just a tiny bit. This this way. No, yeah, yeah, that's the way. Yep, yep, yep. Perfect. Cheers. What how, how have you been keeping uh, have you been keeping in lockdown anyway? Like what you've been up to? Because obviously in the UK is pretty much shut down. We can't do anything. What you be, how you been keeping busy? Um, well, obviously professional athletes were allowed to train. Mm -hmm. well, I've just been training, mate. Oh, that's hot. So I've just been training. Um, I moved into my new flat. Finally got, a, got on the property ladder. Uh-huh. Uh, <coughs> I've uh, been doing the plates up, and yeah, I just I get I get a dog tomorrow, so dog's gonna be keeping me busy for the rest of the lockdown. And uh, yeah, mate, that's about it. What about yourself? <clears throat> to be honest, um, just been busy with work. To be honest, wake up, work, and then before you know, it's the evening. Not much to do. I've got to sleep, repeat. 
He knew those. Don't worry, man. You're gonna get. You'll get there. You'll get there. So, apart from obviously noodles, what's your favorite food, or what's like your go-to cheat meal? Chinese takeaway, or it's not really a takeaway because it's kind of healthy, but Nando's. Yeah, yeah, I like Nando's too. What's your normal? What's your normal Nando's order? Half a chicken medium, mm -hmm. peri chips, and if I'm feeling a bit naughty, garlic bread as well. But if I'm trying to be healthy, I'll get corn on the cob. And then uh, I like to order this cookie dough stuff from Afters, which is like a dessert place. And uh, that's good, man. It's nice. Yeah. I might have to order some ice cream now, actually. That is so I normally get... Like a bitch. <laughs> You're going to do it, Dora. You're going to get it. I'm just going to walk them down. I so I normally, I normally get half chicken. Um chips, garlic bread, but sometimes, I don't know if I want a burger, so I get the garlic bread, so I can like chop up the breast piece, put it inside the garlic bread, there yeah, you go, right. life hack man, life hack. <laughs> How much left? How much left? Not, mu not much at all mate. Go on, you can do it, you can do it. Here we go. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm not going to cheat. I'm going to go and get the rest that I left on the side. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> ah. I was going to cheat. Oh, Nathaniel, well, man. This is all, it's all on camera now. But I've gone for it, right? Okay, fair enough, fair enough. For it. Yeah, I hope the people will forgive you, man. <laughs> oh, I can't. Can't knock a try, right? Mm -hmm. mm. Oh. <clears throat> it's getting quite hot for me as well. Did Arnie finish it? So, uh, yeah, he finished it, man. He was a proper trooper. <laughs> Mate, I'm almost done. Ah. You did. So, a couple of... Ooh. A few months ago, I was talking to Darren Stewart and he was telling me about how, nearly, nearly, he was telling me about how the UK fighters ain't rated as much as the American fighters. So I, when we were talking about this, I brought you up and I was talking about how how Casey Kenny, he beat you. Done. So you've got three minutes, yeah, starting now. Yeah. <laughs> so I was talking about, <laughs> I was talking about the fight with Casey Kenny. Yeah. And, um. I was saying how he won and he got a fight against Dominic Cruz. And we were like, if you won, do you think you would have got a fight against Dominic Cruz? Or do you think your treat UK fighters are treated a little bit differently? <laughs> they're actually nice, but they're hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I would have got that. Because sometimes it's just right place, right time. But obviously, if I had won that fight, I would have been out of an injury anyway. <sighs> mate, what's that timer saying? Uh, two minutes. You're nearly there, mate. <clears throat> I want to ask you about a couple well. of. <laughs> I want to ask you about a couple of uh, UK prospects, <coughs> both, yes. in your both in your division, yeah. <coughs> so one of them's in the UFC, Jack Shaw. And one of them's not in the UFC yet, Mohamed Mukayev. So if you've trained with both of them, uh, Welsh one. In... I, I, don't, I don't know who he is. <laughs> I'm just being rude. <laughs> have Ooh. you trained with both of them? And if you, ha if you have, what's it like training with both of them? I've not trained with Jack. A lot of people keep saying I should fight him, hence why you know I said, who is he? Um, <laughs> Mukayev I've trained with. Very good lad, y nice kid, very young, you know, got a lot of potential in the sport, obviously. Uh, very high wrestling. <clears throat> good lad. Oh, my three minutes start now. Woo! What have I got now? It's got to be like a minute, innit? Yeah, one minute, one minute. <clears throat> Mate, that's killing me. So, yeah, Mackay, is quite young, right? Yeah, I've not trained with Jack, obviously. Um, but he's doing well. I think he's 2-0 in the UFC now, so... 
Oh, mate, I'm sweating. Look, can you see? <laughs> Lauren, would you grab me a magnum, please? Thank you. <laughs> Getting the missus, get the get the magnum ready because I need some ice cream or something. And the chocolate milk, please, babe. <laughs> no, no, my three minutes is almost up. And, nearly, uh, nearly. Twenty sec- twenty seconds. Yeah, twenty good, seconds. Good lad. I think Moko is going to do very well. I think he's already gone in four and O pro or three and O pro, something like that. Um, who's like? So yeah. Who's someone you? Who's someone you enjoy watching in the UFC? Like a couple of fighters that you enjoy watching? Oh. um... Obviously, Conor McGregor, you know, uh, the big touch. Mate, I need to blow my nose. This this noodles are killing me. Yeah, you can blow your nose. Don't worry. You can you can wipe your forehead like the nose. You got... Um, oh, I th- <clears throat> I've got to be done, yeah? Yeah, yeah, I think you're done, man. Go for it. Woo! Woo! <laughs> mate, I'll tell you what. They were hot. They taste good, though, yeah? They taste nice, but I won't be eating them for lunch, that's for sure. <laughs> I did a Scotch bonnet not long ago uh-huh. oh, for a challenge. And that was bad, but they were bad. But I didn't expect them to be that bad. What's your, what would you say, like, obviously you're still quite early in your career, but what would you say is your proudest moment so far? My proudest moment, mate, believe it or not, hasn't actually been a UFC win. It was the UFC weigh-ins at UFC London. Okay. Mm. Was that a tough weight cut or what was going on? No, so basically I've never had it before where I've been at weigh-ins and had a crowd behind me. You know, the okay. UFC fights that were in uh, the States, obviously, you know, the crowds weren't that supportive of me. To have that London crowd, like, get behind me, especially before a fight when we're facing off, you know, that was a special moment. That was a moment where I felt like, you know, I was going in and I was kind of, you know, as proud. So I would say that was actually my proudest moment, even over the wins, you know, because after a win, everyone cheers, you know, it's just normal. So to have the cheers before a fight, you know, that was that was something special. On the flip side, what would you say is like the most embarrassing moment, not in your career, but just generally in life? What would you say is the most embarrassing moment? Embarrassing. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, these noodles. <laughs> uh, <laughs> most most embarrassing moment. Oh, mate, I don't know. Uh, yeah, the weigh-ins for the UFC in New Mexico, my missus just reminded me, they got the weight wrong. So he said I was overweight by about two pounds. And, uh, okay. Sorry, man. It's, it's, right, it's, right, it's, right. it's all right, it's all right, it's all right, it's all right. And uh, he got the weight wrong, so I was on weight, I was like, I don't know, 135 pounds, and he was like, oh, 137 pounds, and I was like, what the, do you know what I mean, I, I never miss weight, and uh, luckily my coach was there, and he looked at the scales and just said to the guy, mate, what are you talking about, look, you can see it, what it says. <laughs> I bet he must have been having a bad day because the the guy that's got it two pounds or whatever wrong. So until obviously uh, it it got rectified, that was embarrassing. You know, I was on the stage just thinking like, oh, this ain't good. Do you know what I mean? But also I was, you know, I knew knew I'd made weight. So, but that was quite an embarrassing moment in the UFC for sure. So you you mentioned like your coaches there. I just want to quickly uh, mention Brad Pickett. So tell me one thing that you love about Brad. I know you're speaking to him in like an hour or something on your Instagram live, but tell me one thing you love about Brad. Mate, he's one of those rare human beings that's just a good person, will do anything and everything for someone and expect nothing back. You know, this day and age, most people always want something from you. You know, there's not many people out there that would just help you for the sake of helping you and Brad's one of those people, you know, I can tell you that from experience, you know, he's done a lot for people, never expects anything back, and uh, yeah, he's just a good family man, you know, he's got good morals, and he's just a a good human being. Awesome. So, outside of, like, fighting and everything, are you like a TV series or a movie person? And if so, what are you watching at the moment, and what's your favourite movie, if you've got one? By the way, my time is up. Your time's up, Yeah. Enjoy, mate. I've got to get this magnum in me. Oh, um, my favorite TV series, Game of Thrones. Okay. okay, and Vikings. And at the moment, 
for watching Lost. Do you remember Lost? Have you ever watched that? I watched a couple of episodes, but I couldn't get into it. My brother has watched all yeah. of it. It's a bit, uh, it's kind of abysmal, mate. It's one of those things where I'm look, watching it and I'm thinking, what am I watching? <clears throat> but um, it's just something to kill a bit of time, you know, obviously in lockdown. And me and my missus are watching that um, at the moment. So, yeah. I've watched Game of Thrones, but I was not happy with the ending, man. No. It weren't a good ending. Oh, mate. No. Them noodles are hot. Bit... Yeah, they are, they are. So this honest, your, when, uh, when you challenged me, I thought I thought to myself, mate, come on. Well these noodles, you know what I mean? They're gonna be easy, but yeah, that's hard, man. That is hard. No, do you know what? Credit for finishing it, because like like Arnold Allen, he he's not used to spicy food, and you were telling me as well, you're not you're not used to it either, so No, nah, medium sauce and nandos is about the best you're gonna get. <laughs> <laughs> Whew. So last couple of questions. Um, mm -hmm. If you want an MMA, if you want an MMA fighter, what would you be doing right now? Do you think? Well, I'd like I like business. You know, I like to think that I'd be involved in some sort of business. So I want to do that now. You know, I want to get into property. I run my own clothing brand, and you know, I'd like to think I'd be doing something along them lines. Um, but before I was fighting, I was actually roofing and doing building work, and I just hated that. So, you know, I'd like to think I'll be doing the same on the business side. Or, you know, obviously, if not fighting, some sort of coaching would, would be nice, I think. You know, that's what I enjoy doing. And that's what I think I'll be doing after my career is over. OK. And I'm going to quickly talk about your clothing brand in a minute. But just before mm -hmm. we go, the last, let's say, official question of this challenge and interview. <clears throat> if you could have one dream matchup, like if you could pick anyone to fight, who would it be? Mm -hmm. Conor McGregor, it's that money. He's gonna get that money fight. So, if Red not, night, yeah? if it was, if it wasn't about money, um, I would say uh, Peter Young, uh, not Peter Young, Adrian. Well, not Adrian Sterling, because he's my friend. But obviously, whoever's got the bantamweight title now. Um, so you know, if Peter Yang gets the belt back, ideally, that's who I'd like to fight. Cool. Awesome. So I'm going to speak to you for a couple of minutes after the interview. But before we finish, um, mm -hmm. we briefly spoke about, um, uh, is it Prospect Apparel um, yeah. or Prospect Clothing? Yep. So normally I would ask people if you want to plug anything, go ahead and go and plug it. But if you want to just talk maybe a minute or something about your brand and where people can find your clothing and stuff, go go right ahead, man. Yeah. So it's Prospect Apparel. That's my clothing brand. Um, it's something I've done with a, a school friend of mine. Um, and if anything, it was more just to give me something to do while I'm not training because, you know, whilst I'm training, uh, sorry, when, when I'm in training camp, I do about two hours in the morning, two hours in the evening and the rest of the day I've got nothing to do. So, you know, you kind of go a bit crazy really and you've got to kind of relax and chill out. So doing something like a clothing brand, you know, it means I'm not doing anything too physical. I can focus on my fighting, obviously, and then potentially something that I can do after my career is over. So. You know, I feel like if I plant the seeds now, let them grow. And, you know, when my career is over, I may have, you know, something to, to fall back on. And you do everything, right? Like caps, jogging bottoms, tops, yeah. everything, men, so, women, everything, right? Yeah, the idea is we're, we're like a gym-based clothing brand. But, you know, at the moment, um, a lot of our products you can wear as, you know, just everyday stuff. It's T-shirts, we have tracksuits. So, you know, I like to think this stuff's pretty good. It's all... You know, I'd like to think it's fairly priced. That's what we're trying to do. You know, we're trying to give people a, a gym product that's not, you know, 150 quid for a female set. You know, we're trying to be half the price of everyone else out there at the moment. Because even myself, you know, if I look at like, getting some new gym clothes, it's, you know, you buy some brand that, you know, everyone's got and you're paying like a ridiculous amount of money for it. So, you know, hopefully I can provide time for people that, you know, is a lot cheaper and, you know, still just as good quality. Awesome. And if people want to find you on Twitter and Instagram, what's your like handle, your Twitter app uh, handle thing? So the clothing brand is The Prospect Apparel. Mine's The Prospect yep. MMA. So quite easy Perfect. ones to remember. Um, yeah, so just follow me on, on Instagram or Twitter. And I've actually just gone on TikTok. It's the same name, but oh. I've not really I've not really quite worked TikTok out yet. It's a bit um, it's a bit of an odd one, isn't it? Cool. And uh, is there anyone you want to call out to do this challenge with me, Nathaniel? Like anyone you want to call out? Let's get Brad on it. You know, <laughs> uh, I, li I, li I like to see him suffer a little bit as well because um, he's always bantering me. So, you know, let's get him on. 
And uh, right, cool. I'll message yeah, him. just just get everyone on it, mate, because it, it's it's a good <laughs> laugh, and I, and I like what you're doing. You know, it's, it's something different. You know, it's something different to just a normal interview. You know, it's it's a little bit more fun than. Well, it ain't actually right that fun, but you know, even tomorrow morning's probably not going to be fun either. But yeah, it's something <laughs> different. So, you know, thanks for having me no. on. Obviously. No, honestly, I really appreciate that because that's kind of what I'm trying to do. Like, as much as I appreciate everyone doing interviews and stuff, I just thought I'd try and do something a little bit bit more diff- different and then the fighters might enjoy it. Even if it is a little bit of pain, like it's a bit of a laugh, you'll remember it. But yeah, thank you so much, Nathaniel, for doing this challenge with me. Um, for everyone else, well, I really you. hope you enjoy enjoyed this uh, episode uh, follow me on twitter and instagram as well at abs talks one and make sure you subscribe to the channel nathaniel i'm just going to grab you for one minute but for everyone else uh, see you on the next video <laughs>